doing that in 2019 and and 20 and then the pandemic hit and then they just didn't go well so i wanted to ask you how the industry is going on right now it's going really well um we're seeing with respect to the trends um obviously there's a chip shortage worldwide but um cpu and memory um is available um you know ddr4 uh, ddr3 that kind of thing um as far as networking uh cisco is obviously very popular juniper arista um so yeah uh, as far as drives and storage and um server options uh, as well as networking uh, it's all very good so um what is it that you guys want to focus on um for primarily uh sourcing right but um who, who is it uh, that you're taking care of is it uh corporate end users or, or what, what requirements do your initially, clients need? Initially, I will try to target small and medium enterprises because yep. in order to build the trust and gain it, you know, yep. we are a new company. So probably the corporate are not going to do business with us Okay. because, uh, you know, they, they need some strong background of their suppliers. So I will try to build my credibility uh, by working with small and medium enterprises initially. And uh, I'm more targeting towards the server RAM, server disk, hard drives, and all that. Okay. So I prefer because that's like more, uh, you know, easy to get in. And then later on, we can add more products. For sure. sure. Yeah. And so I'll focus on uh, HDD and SDD um, uh, storage, memory, things like that uh, when I'm yes. showing. Uh, it looks like Felicia has um, joined us. Uh, can you hear us okay, Felicia? Yeah, she's here. Okay. Oh, don't have audio yet. <laughs> we can't hear you yet. Um, that's okay. Um, just the audio. There should be an audio option uh, for either your laptop or your headset, whatever you have. You can hear us, but we but we can't hear you yet. Can, can you hear me yet? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you too. Okay. Um, so Z has um, told me um, a little bit about the, the business model, um, but as far as uh, um, memory and storage uh, that you guys are going to be looking at, um, do you have some experience uh, um, in the parts, uh, I, uh, computer hardware parts uh, um, industry, Felicia, or yes. not yet? Oh, you do. Okay, good. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. sure. So, <laughs> okay. So what we'll do is, is we're going to go into broker bin. I'll do a screen share uh, and then you guys can see um, what, um, you know, how to, how to basically search on broker bin uh, effectively. And, and uh, yeah, it should be good. Um, I am recording uh, this, um, this zoom call. So I'll send it over to Z when we're done and then he can send it to his other teammates too. So, all right. So um, did you get the login and password though, uh, Felicia? Um, did you get yeah, that? Yeah, I did get it. I got it. Okay. Um, were you able to I'm log in? in and that? everything. Okay, cool. So that's awesome. Um, so I'll just be, I'll be logged in um, as, as Z. Um, and uh, then I'll, I'll do a screen share here. Bear with me just for a second. Um, uh, this is weird. Um, okay. Sorry, guys. It's okay. Uh, where are we? Okay, share screen. Okay. Are you able to see that? I'm not sure. Yeah, there we are. Are you able to see that screen? Uh, shows Seagate. Yes. Yep. Here we go. Okay. See it now. Excellent. Okay. Is it too big or too small, or are we we good with this? Uh, no problem. Uh, okay. Seems fine. Very good. Um, so very briefly, um, I'll uh, um, I'll just kind of go through the basic search, um, and then we'll go through a little bit more of an advanced search. Um, I think it'll be beneficial for you. So um, I just picked a Seagate uh, part number that's um, pretty popular on Broker Bin. Um, and then um, I just did a search right up here where it says, what are you looking for? Um, so you can type in, you know, really once you get logged in, uh, it's very simple. Um, you actually just, it remembered the, the part number, put it in right up on top where broker bin search and then hit search. 
and then it's actually going to show you all of the vendors who are advertising this particular part number um, as well as uh, uh, the product description and things like that so um, so yeah um, the, the other thing I was going to point out is that uh, the age column, um, this is important. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with the physical age of the, the inventory, but it's really just the age of the list, okay? So like ServerTech, they've uploaded their inventory as of today, so it's zero days old, okay? Uh, LinkUS, uh, they haven't uploaded for like two days, okay? So it's two days old. One of the reasons I chose this part number is that um, I could show what uh, the real-time inventory listers uh, appear like. So like Arbitech, um, they're a company based out of California. Um, I'll just show that real quick too. It's like, oh, where are these companies? Well, anywhere in broker bin, you can actually hover over uh, the company name and then look up on the top of my screen there to the right of the broker bin, what are you looking for? And it actually shows, oh, okay, they're, Arbitech, oh. for instance, is Irvine, California, okay? And the, there's yep. the phone number, okay? Uh, but the RTI, when you see that, uh, that means that the, this particular client uh, is uploading on a real-time basis. So their software um, is a, has an API uh, that's set up directly with their broker mid database, okay? So anytime okay. they sell or acquire something, this quantity is going to be instantly uh, up, uh, uploaded, uh, you know, updated on broker bins. Okay. Now, okay. once we do the initial search or query, um, then you can see all the companies that are listing it. Uh, but then you have uh, an option to do a filter. So right up on top, the first time you log in, it may or may not show up, uh, uh, but click on filter. This this part here may not show up, but but hopefully it does for you. If not, you just click it there. And now we want to look at maybe just um, refurbished and um, new. Uh, forget about uh, FS means factory sealed, but maybe new and refurbished. And then maybe we just want to look at just Seagate, not the um, erroneous or extraneous um, little manufacturers that other people may have put in. Okay. Uh, so a couple of filters we impose there, and then we click apply filters. Okay. Okay. So once we do that, it redisplays and shows the companies who kind of fit into, okay, we've got new and refurbished and we've got Seagate. Um, and now we've got all the companies that are listing it. All right. Now, in order to um, procure or acquire um, uh, this product from multiple vendors at the same time, um, it's really quite simple. You would actually just click to the left of the company names and it really doesn't, um, you'll, you'll get to know uh, some companies, you know, over time, and Z can probably provide some guidance as far as some vendors who are good and reliable that that he remembers <laughs> um, from mm -hmm. when he was on before. Um, but you'd go ahead and just click to the left of the company names, and then up on the top of the screen, kind of above the companies displaying the parts, then we click on RFQ, and that stands for Request for Quotation. And what happens next is it's a blind carbon copy email that's going to each one of the, uh, the, the, the people who are responsible from these companies that you had chosen from the previous page. So like Tony Adib, Casey Wong, uh, Alan, uh, Dancia, they're all the folks that are gonna be getting back to you as far as providing a quote um, for pricing and um, uh, shipping and warranty, that kind of thing. Um, all you need to do is put in you know, hey, I'm looking for a hundred of these. Um, need uh, delivered. Oops, sorry. <laughs> need delivered um, to uh, New York uh, by October one. Okay, so that kind of gives um, the vendors an opportunity. Hey, I gotta gotta provide a quote, um, and they has to be delivered. You know, to New York by October one. Okay. And then it automatically has um, like Z's name, uh, company, the company name, and then the phone number. Um, so, and then you would actually just click on send. Now we're not, we're not gonna, oops, something going on in the background there. Um, so then we would actually click on send. We won't do this, but you'll notice that it says send a copy to myself. 
so you can keep track of everything you ever do within Brokerbin. So you'll want to set up like an Outlook uh, rule or something like that just to keep track of it. Okay? okay. Any questions about that? That's kind of a basic um, search with uh, just a little bit of a filtering. Uh, so Felicia, does that make sense? Yes. Okay, excellent. All right, very good. So um, I was gonna show as far as if we wanted to look at, um, oh, I apologize. Before we go too much further, <laughs> um, Felicia, um, each one of you is gonna have like um, your own um, company profile. And um, you know, if you wanted to include like WhatsApp or Skype or anything like that, you can actually do that. So um, when you log in, you know, it says welcome back and like we're under um, Z right now, but like he's got his picture mm -hmm. there and, and the logo, uh, but you can actually um, hover over manage and then my profile, okay? So he can put in, um, you know, uh, a picture or Skype. Yeah, he's done a good job actually already. So there's his Skype, there's his WhatsApp. Um, and then also um, yeah, LinkedIn, that's good. Uh, that's all really good. So, um, but you can kind of do that um, if you'd like to, right? That actually is kind of helpful. Uh, so then people uh, can get a hold of you directly. Like if you're sending a request for quotation, uh, Felicia, we want mm -hmm. them to be able to come back to you directly um, and to call you if needed or hit the Skype or WhatsApp or whatever, okay? So, because okay. the default phone number for the company uh, is uh, under Z. <laughs> uh, let me show you what that looks like. Manage my company. And this is actually the company profile. So when okay. you look at, um, yeah, so Z, you can continue on putting just a little bit of, uh, I just put an IT remarketer here. Uh, I would suggest maybe doing a little bit more information than just that. <laughs> um, and then like I put in the logo, but uh, so yeah, that's all, it's all good information. So like the company profile right now, sorry, we're kind of getting a lot, little off track here, but okay. So this is actually what other companies are gonna be looking at when they see, uh, they click on your company name, you know, there it is. So, so like uns uh, and yourself and so, yeah, okay. All right, now with respect to looking up um, um, popular uh, part numbers within a, a particular brand, I think that will be helpful uh, and beneficial for you guys uh, because then um, you can actually see, hey, what's popular, what's getting searched. Um, and, and let me explain, um, we have, Brokerbin has about 200,000 queries every business day of the month, okay? So the statistical uh, data, uh, information, the credibility of this uh, the statistical data is very, very strong uh, for this next section that I'm gonna show you, okay? So, and, and they're a result of all of the folks on Brokerbin, they're actually searching to take care of their, their corporate end users and their um, small businesses, right? <laughs> so you guys can kind of keep track of, gosh, what's really hot in Intel uh, or in Seagate? I'm trying to think of some HDD, uh, Mac Store. Um, yeah, any brand you want really. So uh, what would be a good brand Z? What, what brand should we look at? It doesn't matter to me. I personally like HP, Dell, okay. and these are really high in demand. And also, of course, Cisco. You can't forget Cisco, but mostly Cisco, uh, most of the clients, they are looking for a refurb. Okay. And uh, yeah. Okay. So, but Sounds she good. has experience with the CDW, you know, CDW. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, excellent. I was a, I was a senior account manager. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm going way too slow then. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can hit the ground a little bit faster now. I <laughs> thank you for telling me that V. So <laughs> no problem. All right. And so. that's why we uh, we have Felicia on board because she has a great experience in this domain and she knows about this industry more than me, you know. Excellent. So all right. I, I, I you are very lucky, smart to hire. To... You are very smart to hire her. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> all right. So okay. So um so we'll jump in a little bit quicker then. Um so we've got main tools, search, manage reports, and broadcast. We hover over reports, and then we can take a look at company or site-wide. Um, we'll click on site-wide, so we're looking at the entire database. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we've got company, site-wide, email stats, right? So 
site-wide is uh, the top 200 search parts for. Um, you know, we can take a look at HP, that's fine. Um, there's over 500,000 parts <laughs> on broker bin that are from the HP and HPE family. So, um, so we're going to see an awful lot of um, storage, I, 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 if I'm not uh, mistaken, my mm -hmm. guess here, uh, mm -hmm. HP, and then the last 30 days. So um, I like the last 30 days because it gives us a really, really good uh, snapshot um, yes. over a, a long period of time. Okay. So this report section, this is actually going to show you the most popular HP part numbers um, in the wholesale industry, you know, in broker bin. So the number of hits, this is important. Um, number of hits are actually number of queries um, that we have experienced in the last 30 days within the database. Okay. So um, yeah, lots of storage, uh, some networking. So we can really look at, kind of do a deeper dive into any part number uh, that is interesting for you guys, right? So yeah. um, for instance, uh, uh, um, the, the quantity available and then the average or the number of hits, this is kind of important to take a look at too because quantity available is really either market scarcity or market saturation, right? So like mm -hmm. everybody and their brother is listing the POO924-B21. 55,000. <laughs> um, so, um, so let's maybe look at um, as far as uh, maybe there isn't as many people uh, uh, listing this on broker bin, like 467 um, are being listed on broker bin right now. And there's over 1600 um, queries that have been searched in the last 30 days. Average price is about 2657. Now keep in mind that this is actually a um, truly an average of the new, the refurbished, the new open box and some factories sealed as well. So please don't take that as, ooh, there's the selling price. <laughs> uh, that's, the, that's the average listed price uh, for all those different uh, condition codes. Um, and we don't have pricing on everything. Not everybody on Brokerman lists price, about maybe 35 to 45% of the database has pricing. And that really just depends on the um, manufacturer as well as the um, commodity itself, right? If we're in a $300 or less range, uh, you're going to see more pricing, you know, just that's just the way it is. So, uh, but like in this one, uh, this R2H28A, I don't have anything. I don't have enough data to actually provide an average, right? So does that make sense? Right. Okay. Yep. Okay, so let's take a look. Where were we? Um, yeah, let's look. At, let's take a look at this one, um, just because no, 467. There wasn't that many people that were listing it. So if you guys had access to it, um, you could potentially do well. <laughs> um, so take your mouse right over the the part number itself, and honestly, you don't have to be in the report section to to do what we're gonna do. Uh, anywhere within broker bin. Um, when you hover over, you can see the little window that pops up, supply and demand. You would click on supply and demand. And then it goes one deep, one level deeper and actually looks at each specific manufacturer and condition code that is being listed on broker bin and the quantities that are available as well as the average pricing, okay? So like in this case, here, here we've got you know some data. Um, looks like 92, 92 occurrences or listings. Uh, average price is about three thousand. High side is thirty one hundred. Low side is about twenty nine hundred. So a pretty tight, um, tight little pricing grouping around that one. Mm -hmm. Now, what this could tell you is that um, your selling price or buying price <laughs> should be somewhere around um, this three thousand mark especially since the, the low side uh, and the high side uh, are, are really quite tight here. So that, that's actually a fairly good example. Now, so want, I have a, sorry, sorry, I have a question here. So what is a good margin right now on broker bin? Last time we were going with 20% margin uh, when we are selling something, yeah. That depends on the brand. Um, and it, it depends on your buying price too. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, yeah, I don't know if 20%, I honestly don't know 
what the margin is for any particular brand that because we don't actually get involved in the actual transaction uh we just we can show the popularity and the relevancy um mm -hmm. but yeah i mean 20 percent is actually good uh the days of 50 and 80 percent are long gone though <laughs> um so there's just <laughs> yeah <laughs> so we have to work harder right so yes um okay well let's do this though let's actually dig a little bit deeper uh into this one because um i think this will be actually really helpful any any one of these words detailed can actually bring us to the same grid or the kind of the next level down. Uh, just click on detailed to find out more information about supply and demand. Mm -hmm. Normally it's a little faster. Zoom is kind of slowing it down just a bit, but uh, um, okay. So now you see the, the, the people who have been looking for it like two hours ago, um, you know, all the way down to like four or five days ago. All of these people have been looking for it and potentially they are um, leads. <laughs> like if you guys happen to own the JL256A, um, these potentially could be leads, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I will tell you that the people that are listed in yellow, um, they are not truly a lead uh, because they are doing a market uh, test or a market um, survey uh, to find out hey, who, who, who's, oh, hello? <laughs> Um, so anyway, so that's actually uh, the vendors who are listing it, okay? So like 99 okay. Chords and Hard Drive World and Tier 1 Data, they all actually are just listing it, and they're kind of doing like we are right now. Hey, who's been looking for this part? <laughs> so in order to get rid of all of the people in yellow, right up on the top right corner of this supply and demand, we're going to click on View, Socked, Any, No, Yes, click on No. And that gets rid of all of the people in yellow and now looks at just the people who are actually searching for it, who do not own it. Okay. Like, okay. Um, and, and, and here's their company and here's their phone number. <laughs> um, so, so it's actually kind of cool um, from a reselling standpoint, I will tell you that you can actually go a little bit deeper too, uh, or, or filter this a little bit deeper. You'll notice that the plus four fours are there and the plus three threes and plus four nines uh, for mm -hmm. Germany and the UK and France, I think. Um, but it, so you could call internationally if you wanted to, but it, you'd have to call quite a bit earlier than now. <laughs> so, um, but if we wanted to just get rid of at, at this point in the day, um, just focus on maybe the region of North America. And now it actually gets rid of all of the folks outside of Canada and the US. So here we are. So Sunny Hater from Seventh Genius, uh, Andrea Martin, uh, Tina Neptune, all of these folks have actually been looking for it pretty recently. Um, and once again, you can kind of find out, hey, where are they? Um, on Brokerbin, you can actually just hover over the company name and you'll notice on the top of my screen, it actually shows uh, Sunny is down in Frisco, Texas. Uh, oh, I see. IT, yeah. IT Buzz, they're in uh, Staten Island, New York. So. That might be a possibility for a relationship for you guys. Um, if you wanted to find out a little bit more uh, information, we can do a company um, profile search. Yeah, let's uh, let's maybe do that because these guys were trying to see who that. Yeah, I, um, let's see. Yeah, let's pick a different one. <laughs> I'm just trying to see maybe like a really, really good company. Okay, Paragon. Uh, they happen to be a company that I work with. So if we wanted to find out, hey, what, what can, I, can I learn a little bit more about Paragon? I just click on the company name and then it actually shows like uh, the brands that they specialize in, uh, the products that they specialize in, um, services, that kind of thing. And they're located in Massachusetts. Okay, um, I'm not a huge fan of this vertical listing because I think it just kind of burns up some real estate. Uh, I would be more, a little bit more of just word wrap, <laughs> um, you know, as far as company profile. Um, what I did want to show you uh, also is, hey, how many, uh, how, how well are they respected and how, how well do they take care of uh, customers? Um, and Z, um, we talked a little bit about this, you and I, <laughs> about some companies are not really well respected on Brokerbin, and yeah. some are. 
And um, this company is one of them. It is highly respected. And Felicia, can you hear, can you see this? Okay. Show first and show never. Show first, never show. Yes. Show first means that there have been 526 um, members of BrokerBin who have been so impressed with Paragon that they actually have selected, hey, when I'm looking for a part number, I want Paragon to show up on the top of my screen. I which mean. is huge from a selling standpoint. When you guys get to that point where you're selling stuff, um, we, we as account managers for BrokerBin, we show this to everybody. <laughs> so your hope and your... your um, your challenge is to do such a good job from a customer service standpoint, and even from a buying standpoint, you want to be a good buyer. You know, you want to be yeah. easy to work with and very communicative, um, getting back to folks, not over promising and under deliver, under delivering, but just the mm -hmm. opposite. Right. So, and that's just customer service 101. <laughs> um, but uh, 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 some of the companies on broker Ben, well, let, me just, let me just show you. I think, I think this one, yeah, <laughs> IT Buzz uh, out of New York. Um, look how well they're doing. Not good, okay? Ooh, never um, shows a lot. Right, so that's his mom and his dad and his uncle and his brother, and here's everybody else, <laughs> right? So, okay, so, so Z, when I was talking with you before, um, I know um, it seems like I was trying to be a little bit... Um, strict. <laughs> um, but I, I my truly my, my goal and my hope is for all of my clients to do so well on broker bin that um, they are well respected. Uh, and mm -hmm. they do really, really well. So that that's that's my hope <clears throat> for you guys. Okay, absolutely. We okay. can try a level best. Okay, good, good. All right. Um, we got kind of sidetracked there. But I thought it would be beneficial to show that company profile information. Because you guys as purchasers, you want to be buying from people who are well respected on broker bin, right? So, because you don't want a bad experience, <laughs> yeah. So, um, so kind of take a peek and see how their company profile looks, and that's a good indicator. Okay, so absolutely. Just to wrap up this portion of it, this is demand. This is demand, and then this is supply down below. So all of these vendors are listing that JL two five six A, and there's their pricing. Um, and this lumps in all condition codes too, just so you know. Um, but here we could actually kind of drill it down just like we did before. Um, yeah, let's see here. No, 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 no. And do you want to tell this percentage, 100%, 50%? Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, yep, that's a, that's a good thing to... Yeah, uh, here's, a, here's a good example. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Yeah, here's a good example. Morgan England has got 89%. Uh, Euroland Computers has got 60%. Uh, so um, kind of like if you can visualize like eBay a little bit, um, this is actually a positive feedback versus negative feedback. So if you've got like, you know, 10 total feedbacks and nine of them are all positives <laughs> and one of them is a negative, that's pretty much 90%. It's not, the, the math isn't exact, but that, that's basically the idea. So, um, so is it like in the past three months or is it like forever? Yeah. Good question. Um, it is actually forever. <laughs> so some of these companies, um, but that's actually, that's actually okay too, uh, because mm -hmm. it gives an indicator because you can look not only just at this percentage, but you can actually look deeper into the percentage, uh, and some of the feedback, you know, that gosh, you know, that was a long time ago and they've only got three total feedbacks two of them were bad, right. man, well, it was five, six years ago. Maybe we take a, a gamble on them anyway. Um, let me show an example. Um, Euroland computers are out of Great Britain. Okay. They've been here for a long time, you know, member of almost 15 years, right? So, um, and I happen to know this guy. <laughs> um, he's not he's not too bad. Uh, he, he you know uh, sometimes a little bit difficult to deal with, but um, he's listing. Uh, and this is kind of this is where I was talking with you a little bit earlier. Z, um, he's listing forty five thousand lines. There's no way he has forty five thousand lines. So this is distribution, okay? But if he doesn't do a good job of taking care of uh, and and um, over delivering and under promising, uh, then we get some bad feedbacks, right? So uh, mm -hmm. show first 40, show never 142, okay? 
Um, but um, again, he's an okay guy. Uh, he's just, his business model is his kind of, they've dropped the ball, you know, quite a bit over the years. So, so here we go, 60%, 10 total comments. We can click here and look specifically at the feedback that they have received and when, like 2006, okay? This is his rep. When you guys become a paying member, you're gonna actually have something from me that says, hey, thanks for your business. So you'll be at 100% until you get one more that's negative and then you'll be at 50%. So don't get any negatives. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but here, you know, mailed, call them, get payment, always listing stock, but never have it. This is not good, you know? Right. So, and, and it's over 2012, 2018. Um, so, you know, <laughs> so that's not, that's not that great, you know, to be able to have that. So, okay. So, um, so I've kind of gone into some pretty deep detail here. Um, Z, is there any other areas that you think will be beneficial for Felicia to know like right away? Uh, yeah, I would like you to tell what is the right approach, you know, to reach out these companies, like, um, when it comes to like, for example, we should go with the one, two buys first or RFQs and all those things. Like what is the right way to work on this platform? Okay. Because she's going to start brand new. So, okay. So what is the primary role? Is it going to be purchasing? I, I, I would kind of hope, but purchase and sell both. Okay. So purchasing is a great way to start because <laughs> then it's a good way to get a good reputation. It's like, oh, okay. We're on time payers or, you know, if you can negotiate mm -hmm. terms, that's great. But, uh, um, cause you can actually get uh, positive feedback, uh, from, from doing a good job as a buyer, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, as far as ooh, on time payments, you know, um, that kind of thing. And more than just one order too you know, so mm -hmm. to start earning, uh, and you just ask people, Hey, you know, appreciate the transaction. Could you do me a favor and just give me a positive feedback on broker bin? I would really appreciate that. Uh, we're kind of a newer company and it's really important that we, you know, do a good job, but also that, you know, that gets reflected. So, yeah. and just I don't do it in every time, but, uh, especially if it's a larger order or, you know, just kind of earn your way in. Right. So, right. um, let me show you the broadcast section uh, because I mm. think that'll be beneficial to start to take at like look at want to buys and want to sells, uh, yes. specifically in storage. Okay, so that that actually would be the quickest and easiest way to just jump in. Um, before I do that, though, uh, I am going to show you. Um, we've got a section on broker bin that we have. There's a lot of bad people in the in in the industry uh, that try to commit fraud. Okay. And, um, they do, they try to do sneaky things like, um, change an email, uh, one letter, you know, to kind of spoof it. And all of a sudden, um, a company, and I've had several companies that this has happened to. So it's like, I, I, especially if people are going to be playing in the broadcast market, this seems like the area that, um, lends itself to, uh, maybe somebody on broker bin is sharing broadcasts that get posted uh, to some bad actors. Okay. Um, and we, mm -hmm. we've tried, but we can't with emails, it's difficult to try to figure out, okay, who is sending it? Well, once it gets, once it's on broker bin, it's a little bit difficult to kind of, um, track everything after it leaves. <laughs> so, uh, I want to start with that and then I'll show you the broadcast. Okay. Uh, how are we doing on time, by the way, are you guys okay? Uh, yeah. Okay. So click on main. And we're going to look at safe sending um, section or safe trading center of broker bin. So again, main, uh, welcome back. And then it's right up on top. So service directory manage and then safe trading center. So you can actually take a look as far as watch list companies. This is, this is where we kind of show all the fraudsters. I see. These yeah. are fraudulent companies. And it's not a bad marketplace. It's actually a great marketplace. I love broker bin, but <laughs> we've had some some incidents, and we want to warn our members, you know, just to to, uh, to be careful. Um, so these are fraudulent companies that, frankly, we've kicked off of broker bin. Okay, um, the 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 section that I was talking about before uh, is the impersonated companies. Okay, so here's an example: Inside Systems, one of my clients, actually from from Denmark. Um, 
you can kind of read it. I don't know if you're able to see that okay, but basically uh, they put in a little small L or put in an S or something like that. Uh, and then uh, here's another example, Comstex, a, a really good company out of Germany. Um, so they've actually just kind of been trying to spoof a little section of the email. And if people don't pay attention and verify that this is actually matching up with what it is on broker bin, they could potentially be uh, in trouble. Okay. So enough said on that. Let's go to broadcast. So you, uh, you, can, you can be watching for this all the time, like once a week, there may be something new coming up there. So just be careful in that way. So okay. broadcast, again, main tools, search, manage broadcast. We can take a look at the want to buys and the want to sells. So what I would suggest maybe is to take a look at the want to sells, uh, maybe in a particular niche that is interesting for you. Okay, so because there's there's a lot of different broadcasts here, and we can isolate mm -hmm. maybe just to uh, let's look at maybe some companies in North America, for instance, uh, and then the type. Again, as a purchaser, you want to be looking at the people who have posted want to sells. So North America want to sell, uh, and then as far as the view by manufacturer, um, that isn't as important. We could do HP, uh, but I kind of look to, like to look under category. Uh, in subcategory, I think it's a little bit um, better. So under all, we select computers, and then to the right of computers, the subcategory dropdown, um, we are going to look at um, storage, or what would you like to look at? It doesn't matter to me, memory, CPU, storage, server options. I think storage is fine. Okay. It's popular. Okay. All right. So now here's all the um, want to sells that have been tagged by the seller uh, within the storage family, okay? Um, so want to sells, um, there's the posted price. We have good pricing uh, in a lot of cases for broadcasts. Um, however, um, some are listed as call, you know, uh, like um, especially if there's larger quantities. Um, trying to see a good one that we could actually take a look at. Uh, let's say, yeah. okay, trying to find some good companies to show you guys. <laughs> um, there's a few, because uh, I just, I know a lot of these companies like, eh. <laughs> so um, Rhino Technology Group, they happen to be based out of Minnesota, which is where I am. Um, and they've been members for almost 15 years, okay? They're, you notice that they're in bold blue, uh, that means that they they pay a little bit more money uh, to have that advertising just to kind of pop a little bit. Oh, um, okay. So I was going to ask about that. I'm like, why yeah. are they blue? To yep. stand out, basically. Stand out, and um, there there is an option to have what we call real time inventory. Um, that kind of comes with that package, right? So, um, but I don't know that they don't have to have real time inventory if they have the bold blue, uh, but that's just part of it. Okay, so this isn't even really storage, is it? Eh, graphics card, no. Graphics it's, card? <laughs> eh, not, not really, no. Um, this says, um, hmm. There's, I guess, a store wise. Down on the bottom, there's a Seagate 600 gigabyte. Okay, sounds good. Right. Right. Um, okay, so. I'm th so these guys are uh, uh, out of Florida. Um, I, I know them, but they're not my favorite client. <laughs> um, uh. So anyway, uh, um, so if we wanted to, hey, let's let's find out, uh, you know, let, let's uh, uh, see if we can do some business here and and maybe buy, you know, some of those Seagates uh, that they're listing for seventy five dollars. They got fourteen of them. Uh, I want to buy them, so you can actually utilize the broadcast um, little tags here uh, to the left of the time and date stamp. And then down I, the bottom, click on reply. I think I know, I know this company. This is uh, run by husband and wife, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's a guy named Mookie um, and his son. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's a wife involved or not, but um, I'll, I'll show mm -hmm. you their company profile in a second here. But um, going back, I just want to make sure. Okay, so tag to the left of their time and date stamp there and then hit reply. And um, that's going directly to Mookie. Um, and it's actually, what I like about this is it's actually pulling forward 
the very broadcast that he had sent. Okay. So then you can say, you know, I am needing 10. Uh, please um, let me know uh, when you can ship. I can send you a PO, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. And then you'd click on send and it's going directly to Mookie. Uh, and then, you know, you're on your way. So, okay. So it's very simple to do that. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna click off of this so it doesn't actually send it. <laughs> Otherwise <laughs> he's buying some Seagates. Today. He's buying some. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, but broadcast like, so, we just looked at, hey, here's some want to sells. Uh, and now we responded to them. If you wanted to actually do like a want to buy, um, you can actually post it out as your, well yourself, uh, Felicia. Uh, so broadcast, reply, send, view, set filters and history. You'd go ahead and click on um, send and then choose type. So you'd want to do like a want to buy. And then a single item, probably to tip, stick to just a single item. And then hit continue. And now it goes to the next screen and you'd select computer, um, storage. And then, you know, one, two, three, four, six, whatever, uh, HP or Seagate, whatever. Um, and then the condition code you'd want to isolate or select that new factory sealed, new open box refurbished. OEM REF is basically like HP Renew, Felicia. Okay. Okay. Uh, or Cisco Renew or IBM recertified, whatever. So it's actually just got that same, it's it's remanufactured by the manufacturer. By the manufacturer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's pretty solid as far as warranty and stuff like that. So, okay. Um, and then the subject line, um, you'd put in all the technical specs uh, of what it is that you're selling, uh, including the capacity, the speed, um, you know, whatever, all that good stuff. That's about it. You want to put that in as, as, as completely as possible so that it catches people's eye uh, and then you get some responses from it, okay? And then you'd hit continue and then you'd have, we'd, we're not going to finish this one up, but you actually have a, a chance to do like an edit or a preview before you actually send it. Okay, oh, that's so that's how that works. All right. So any questions on how to do a broadcast um, itself or pretty, pretty clear so far? So um, <laughs> you, you picked one to buy and then you said for selling. So, oh, no, I meant um, like if you're going to if you're wanting to buy something. Okay, you can send it out. And basically, you're kind of reaching out to everybody on broker band who happens to have, you know, this or, right. right. And then they're going to be responding back to you. Okay. So we started the tour with, Hey, let's look up a part number, find out all the vendors who are actually uh, uploading their Excel files uh, and then send them off requests for quotations. That's a super efficient way to do it. But if you need like a large quantity of something um, you could actually send out like a want to buy um, and then you'll, you'll be getting some responses from the people that can actually do that for you. You know, they can satisfy your bid. So, right, got it. okay. One other thing, um, and then we'll probably wrap up for today anyway, um, is the opportunity to, to, to look up pricing or look up availability for more than one part number at this, at the same time. Um, first of all, um, would that be helpful? Cause if not, we can skip it for now. Would it be helpful to look up uh, like three or four part numbers at the same time, or do you think that you'd probably just do not particularly? Okay, then we'll skip yeah, it. not right now. Uh, but I would like to focus on one more thing. Sure. So you, so we started from buying. So you told the strategy where to go, where to, where is the, what is the best way to buy the product. Now I would like to know with your experience what products are good to buy high in demand and we should start with those products so we can you know make the inventory apart from that should we look for the sellers first i mean we should go with the um demand first and then 
make the supply, you know what I mean? Like, I do. Get the sales first and then, then start looking for products and sell them. Right. Um, so you've got a couple of questions in there and I think I can answer both of them with the same section. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, that report section um, is going to actually show you the most popular uh, part numbers that are getting searched with Seagate or HP or Dell or whatever. That would be where I'd focus my attention um, specifically as far as, okay, these are the most relevant part numbers uh, in the entire wholesale marketplace or broker bin, right? And then from there, mm -hmm. then you can actually start making decisions as far as, okay, we need to start ramping up our inventory in this for Cisco or this for Intel, um, that kind of thing. Would that be helpful if we went back to the report section, uh, Z? Sure. Okay. So um, reports. And then company site-wide email, site-wide. And let's look at Cisco. Okay. So all of these part numbers are going to be good ones. Okay. As far as to buy, <laughs> and then you could resell. Um, are, are you planning on reselling to where? To uh, through eBay or, or Amazon or, or right here within BrokerBin? So that's what I want to ask you. First of all, where should we target? What should be our target audience to sell? Because we need to figure out the market where we are going to sell. And then we will buy from here and you know, reach out to vendors. So I wanted to know which is the right market to sell so we can hunt, you know? Right. Um... Because last time it, will, it was really difficult for me to sell on broker bin because most of them are already having, you know, good inventory and everything. And the price is really competitive when you're gonna sell on this platform. Yeah, um, you could certainly make more money um, with uh, the the end users. Um, and when I say end users, I'm not talking about uh, some guy in his house trying to fi figure his own uh, hard drive. <laughs> I'm talking about like, um, you know, small to medium businesses like you were wanting to, um, to sell to them. Um, how, how is that, uh, how are you going to do that? Either uh, through uh, eBay or through your website. Um, your website would actually be, you know, the best, uh, but then you've got to get traffic to that website. So then you're going to be spending on Google AdWords and things like that, right? So it's, it's a good way to do it, but it's expensive, uh, especially if, um, you know, you wanted to do something like Cisco. <laughs> uh, those are Great, extremely yeah. expensive pay per click, you know, $10 per click. And all of a sudden, whoa, I just burned through my budget for the day. Uh, yeah. So it's difficult to manage that as far as pay per click. Okay. Do you think cold calling works in this industry? Reaching out to the companies here, like small and medium enterprises and asking them about what part they are looking for so we can arrange that for them. Um, maybe, <laughs> um, but they, they're all, they all have the same access that you do. Okay. So, um, I guess my mm -hmm. question is, do you have access to inventory, um, yourselves? Um, are, are you, are you going to have inventory yourselves or, or are you just going to try to utilize broker bin to buy the inventory and then resell it? Yes, that's our primary goal is buy the inventory from here and then sell it. Apart from that, we do have some suppliers as well. Uh, like I worked last time in, in Europe and all that, but again, they are all broker bin. So right. my source of source of procurement is mostly from broker bin. Okay. So do you know what I'm saying? No, it's like, if I'm a member of broker bin, <laughs> why would I buy from you? Um, when I can buy from other people uh, too, right? So mm -hmm. you've got to just work on your reputation as far as um, some really, really good vendors within broker bin um, and then potentially sell to um, other people within broker bin. Um, that's going to be a little bit difficult um, because- Is it's that basically... why you say um, eBay or something like that? Well, you were asking- Get it yeah, off I mean, yeah, bin. you know, yeah. <laughs> to be honest with you, um, if you if you bought it from a wholesale marketplace like BrokerBin and then resold it on eBay, 
um, then the challenge is that eBay is going to take their 8% or 10%, I think, after their PayPal fee. Um, and then you're left with not that much margin. Uh, so you've got to buy it really, really smart, um, you know, on broker bin. <laughs> um, so yeah. I was just wondering because you said it a few times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the, so the best bet would be reaching out to the end users and sell them directly. Those who are not available on BrokerBin. Yeah. I mean, from a CDW standpoint, Felicia, would you say that uh, that market, because that was all pretty much factory sealed stuff, um, the folks that are actually going there, um, there's an awful lot of corporate end users, you know, like an IT uh, network administrator. Uh, our own <laughs> network administrator here. Oh, he buys hardware, right? And we try to buy from yeah, our client. We try to buy from those our are clients, the people but, I would yeah. talk to. And basically, they're they request you know quotes from yep. their value added, added resellers, mm -hmm. and then we give them the quote, and then they purchase from us. Mm -hmm. So so they don't have to look up oh, the best price, whatever, they'll just get a few quotes and then send a PO and then, you know, th there's the sales, you know, easy. Yeah, yeah. So you got to correct me if I'm wrong, but CGW, is it still just listed to factory sealed or do you guys, did you have some refurbished stuff? Um, too? I haven't worked for them for in, I want to say like maybe 10 years. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. What have you been doing since? <laughs> other stuff i suppose other yeah times. and i i moved i you know i i, I moved to florida yeah i worked for at and in sales like i don't know I just, I just have a lot of different experience in other places sure because it's um it's kind it's kind of easy easy to sell if you're able to talk to people right they, you know you get the reputation so mm -hmm. then they like you and then they're like oh you know i'll just go to you whenever i need something right or right. you, they can talk, you know, oh, I have a big project coming up. Yeah. I'm going to, you know, redo, like, I was doing school. So, like, they'll update all the computers. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you want to yeah. get the, um, you want to put in a, a bid for a large order. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, hopefully either your reputation will win it for you. And some people just go strictly on price. Yeah. You know, right. and then you're going to gouge your, um, your profit. Eh, yeah. you know it's yeah yeah so yeah and with respect to uh pricing versus non-pricing um does that make sense as far as hey the the closer we get down to a hundred dollars <laughs> the the more apt that we're going to have pricing uh right because it's a commodity level at that point you know there's this, such a slim margin that yeah the price is the price <laughs> you know when we're down to yeah. a, a lower dollar amount right so um so yeah i would say um with respect to uh, learning how to utilize BrokerBin the best possible way, uh, I would spend an awful lot of time in the report section. Uh, and even from here, you can actually look up, you know, you don't even have to go report site-wide and do that again. You can actually start typing, you know, any manufacturer you want to. And then it just refreshes the cache. And actually then we're going into the Intel market. Okay. Mm. Um, so that's pretty, pretty slick, pretty simple. Okay. So, yeah. Was that helpful to be able to see uh, just the most relevant part numbers in any manufacturer? Um, I think that's probably what I would suggest as far as how to attack this and how to really, you know, get the business going as far as your own awareness of the relevant part numbers for each particular brand. Brokerbin has a lot of really good information that like, you know, from like CDW's platform, you don't get all of this, right. you know, who's looking for this or, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. but um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we would go directly to the manufacturer and yeah. then have a relationship with somebody there. Like say I would have an HP representative that I would go to if my customer is looking for HP. It's like, okay, I'll go to them, get my best price, mm -hmm to give them a good price and mm -hmm. I still make profit. Exactly. Yeah. And then they have spiffs and everything. So, you know, they, they want you to sell their products. So, you know, they give you their card or they give you, you know, yeah, they give you their card. So they want to sell to you, mm -hmm. you know, 
Mm-hmm. So they're going to try to give you a good price. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So, um, yeah. So, and there is some distribution up. inventory here, um, like Ingram and tech data. Um, they're not um, specifically here because we don't allow first year distribution, uh, but it's one level down from that. So any of the stuff that you see that's factory sealed, um, there's a pretty good chance that that's, you know, um, tech data or Ingram. Um, there's a company out in California called Applied uh, Computer, um, and they're actually literally um, miles away from, is it tech data or no, is it Ingram? Out in California, it's one of the major ones, but they're they're literally an hour away from going grabbing it from them and, and shipping it the same day. So that's why they're, <laughs> that's why they're able to actually list, you know, uh, so many inventory. They literally can deliver it within 48 hours of getting a, an order. And um, as I was saying to Z, um, people who do list inventory uh, that they don't own, um, they get into some real trouble uh, if they're not able to deliver, um, you know, with, mm-hmm. within the 48 hour turnaround time, uh, they get, the show never <laughs> that we we're talking about, they can get that pretty quick. And then um, it makes it very difficult uh, to uh, hill to climb back up <laughs> out of yeah. once you get that bad reputation. It's so, not a good business strategy no. to no. Yeah. offer what you don't have because then you have to scramble. That yep. Absolutely. Happen. Absolutely. And it's, it's always good to tell them the accurate lead time, whatever lead time you are going to, and I always do like one day more, you know, if it is three days, tell them four days. So if they get in three days, they will be surprised. So it's, Mm -hmm. it's good to tell them. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. I don't know if you guys heard that, but there's a train going by. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) We're we're literally (laughs) right next to the tracks. we got a hell of a deal in the building. Wow. (laughs) It only goes by like in the middle of an important phone call. It's no big deal. (laughs) It's all right. The same thing happened. My roommate just banged into the room and he was asking me to do the lunch. You know, it's late here and it, he was waiting for me at the lunch, but it's completely fine. That's I fine. Just we can, we can wrap up too. Yeah. No, no, no. It's completely fine. This is really important. And I'm glad that you found time for us, Bob, sure. to yeah. teach us. But one thing I want to make sure here, because you mentioned eBay and all the other platforms and what I have learned so far through my, throughout my experience that whatever product I see on broker bin, they are sometimes, most of the time, cheaper than the eBay one. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. So that's a good way to start with. But on the other hand, a lot of companies on broker bin, they are having the eBay stores. Like oh, yeah. Rhino Absolutely. Tag and all that. Absolutely. So, yeah. So it's really hard uh, for us to climb up initially and beat them and their prices because even if we purchase you know their products on broker bin they are again selling those products at a same price or lower price sometimes on eBay so for us to target eBay initially is going to be a really tough task to get clients from there so would you recommend any other uh, strategy for selling because we need sales for sure and then of course we will buy stuff from broker bin but we need to get started with some sales and then we can procure from here and then sell it so what is a good strategy to generate sales on the initial level that we are on well let me ask you a question and um it, it really has to do with your website um on your website um you, the website actually looks okay, but it looks like a lot of, um, when I was reviewing it, um, prior to, you know, today, Mm -hmm. um, it looks like you actually, you guys do quite a bit of web, um, development, um, and hosting and things like that. Okay. Yes. So, um, we have a, um, another option and I, I'm going to show it to you, uh, but I'm going to caution <laughs> uh, that uh, just because you put it onto your website is not going to bring people to your website. Okay. Uh, it is a, um, we call it a, a, an online catalog. Okay. Um, but, and, and I'll, I'll show it to you. It's no problem. Uh, but if you don't have a website that's actually um, SEO friendly, um, then it's kind of like having a wonderful, beautiful restaurant in the middle of the desert <laughs> that there are only one or two <laughs> roads and a bike trail going to, right? So True. and I'm, I'm yeah. not trying to be um, a smart aleck here. I'm telling you what you already know because you have some website um, 
development, I think, in, in your experience, and you certainly have that advertised on your website. Okay. So what are you going to do to bring people to the website is my question. <laughs> um, SEO, uh, uh, meta tags, yes. uh, meta keywords. and yeah. Absolutely. And we have to change our model from simple website to the e-commerce one because that's the... Uh, yeah. yeah, let me stop you there. Um, you don't necessarily have to do an e-commerce. You could, um, but then... Um, you're spending an awful lot of money, an awful lot of money, um, uh, as far as uh, uh, updating um, that information um, and uh, 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 hosting requirements are really, really uh, intense uh, for an OS commerce uh, with uh, uh, with content uh, and images uh, and weights and dims and all that other stuff, right? <laughs> uh, so that you're going to have to buy a content management system, which is extremely expensive. Um, mm -hmm. But um, if you did just SEO, um, meta tags, meta keywords, things like that, um, and some landing pages, you know, uh, that actually is going to start to bring traffic to that website too. Okay. So, and you could do some Google pay per clicks, you know, if you wanted to. Um, but just to be smart about it. Um, Do so, you have any example that I can search for, like similar to yeah, what you are saying? So yeah, let me, let, me, let me just show you. It's a mm -hmm. demo. And, and you guys just tell me when you've, you've got to go um, because I can, we can finish up on Monday or whatever. Um, but um, I'll click on tools. Well, I'm good with learning. I, if Felicia, you want to go or if you have any other commitment, you can tell. Well, I can't be on all day i okay. do have stuff i need to do today i gotta mow the sure, lawn sure. so i'm leaving in 10 minutes now <laughs> okay. wrap oh. i'll wrap this up in 10 minutes i promise or less <laughs> uh, so Perfect. it's called the online portal uh online catalog um okay. and this is not going to be what it looks like it's just an example of a website uh that you guys could actually do a website right uh, like on wordpress i would suggest that's a good one um okay uh, but you just put in like a part number uh, that you want to SR22. I don't even know if that's actually even a real one. Yeah. So your, your corporate end users, your corporate customers um, are going to be coming to your website. Uh, they're going to simply put in the SR22. Uh, and then it's actually all of what you see here is actually um, from broker Ben. Okay. You, yeah. Are you able to see all this? Yes. Yeah. This is pretty beautiful, then, isn't it? Yeah. And then they request the quote, the quote goes to you. Here we go. And then you, this is the customer. You, They're going to put in their request for quote and, and, and keep it simple, stupid, right? That's website 101. <laughs> I put in a part number. Oh, here's a big green request quote, right? You want to keep yeah. it super simple. Uh, the, the part number already floods in as well. This is pulling from broker bin, uh, as well as the description. And then they just have to put in, um, you know, a, B, C, computer, whatever. Um, and then their full name and then their email address and their phone number. Now, these are with the asterisks, these are required fields, okay? But the company name is not a required field. So this could be Grandma Jones or whatever. You know, some, mm -hmm. literally some person who just needs one part number. But the point is that they're actually gonna be sending you a quote um, and they can put in, whatever they want, you know, new used refurbish. We keep it very simple for them that way. They're okay, just refurbished. And then- um, Any so, additional information they're doing. Well, then potentially this turns into a lead where you can be yeah. like, you know, I can help you with, you yeah. know, whatever yeah. you're actually working on, you know, is it a project? Absolutely. Do you need, you know, assistance? Yep. Everything yeah, looks good here. Customer. Yeah. Everything looks good here, but I just wanted to ask you one thing because when people search things online, they particularly look for the prices as well. Then they go and click on particular product. Here, there is no price. So, do you Correct. think they will reach out even if we are not telling them any ballpark or any price range or something? I think they will. Um, I think once you go to a model where you have um, just the the price. Uh, then you lose <laughs> unless you are $1 cheaper than everybody on Google <laughs> and everybody on eBay. Uh, you got to be $1 cheaper. Otherwise, forget it. 
So I think, I think this is good because then you can talk to the person, yeah, engage them. Yeah. yeah. You engage them because this, when this shows up in your inbox and you just tell me, Hey, put it to this email. Then when that email shows up, it actually shows up with a tag uh, that it actually shows. Um, we used to call it a broker box, uh, but now it's online catalog. Uh, so it would actually be tagged for you. When you guys see that, you get on it <laughs> and then you, you just click on the link and then go up into broker bin and that link actually, you gotta be logged into broker bin, but it brings you to that very page inside of broker bin. And then you source it from one of your friends on broker bin and then get back to the customer and say, hey, I can deliver this within five days. Uh, would you need any additional information? Would you like a power supply? Uh, would you like a monitor? Whatever. Yeah, all the rest of the stuff to go Accessories. with what you're doing. It's like, I yep. see so you're buying memory. So yep. Yep. are you updating much computers? Do you your need graphics storage? card. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all yeah. that. So Absolutely. So this would be something to consider. <laughs> um, but I, I want you to think about that though, because uh, you've got to do some serious investment uh, for time uh, and some money uh, to be bringing people to that website, okay? So even when you're on the phone, right? Uh, Felicia, if you're on the phone with a customer, you could say, hey, nice to meet you, blah, blah, blah. Um, can, I, can I have you uh, open up my website? And then, you know, you just have them open it up, right? www.iwispo.com. Uh, Are you there? Yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay, put in the part number right up. You literally demo it just like I'm doing with you. Mm -hmm. uh, and then so anything, anytime you ever need it, um, you just go to my website and send it to me and I'll be getting back to you within four hours. You know, mm -hmm. so you could actually do it in concert with a phone call. Mm -hmm. So the idea here is to actually have some core customers that you can that are going to buy from you anyway, have them start right getting into that practice because <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a huge time um, saver, <laughs> uh, especially Absolutely. that, you know, that IT uh, network administrator at, you know, two o'clock in the morning, shoot, <laughs> they're, well, they're going to send it to you. And then at first thing in the morning, mm -hmm. at least you'll get up and get after it. Or if somebody wants to monitor it, you know, to take, take a monitoring uh, shift, <laughs> uh, but it's, it's on all the time. So, mm -hmm. so do think about that. Um, but, but it's really designed for people who are already at your website because <laughs> it's actually just a, it's a conversion tool. Um, mm -hmm. Once they get to the website, they put in anything they want to. Um, I don't have images for everything. Um, that's actually just stock images that we just flood in there. And um, in some cases we have the, um, the manufacturer, um, you know, uh, logo. In other cases we don't. So, um, if you did something really weird, like, I don't know if this part actually exists, but I just want to, yep, okay, sure yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, so that this is, I'm glad this is a demo because that, that looks ridiculous, doesn't it? Right. <laughs> um, so, um, we actually, this isn't broker bin. We actually buy our content, um, and images and things like that from another third party and we pay an awful lot of money for it. So I'm gonna get after them for this particular one. <laughs> no, what we do is, is we actually encourage clients to, hey, if there's no image, uh, we want it to default uh, to whatever, you know, something like this um, or, um, and the, the logo, you know, like um, uh, we may have a logo something that just says, I, I, I wispo, right? Just up there, that little thumbnail. So that's what we would have you guys just provide that for us. And then whenever there are images available, great. If not, you know, this is kind of a stock image here. So, mm. okay. Sounds good. So you guys can think about that and, and let me know. There's, sure. That's there, a is a cost, there is a cost, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so we can get into that, you know, after a while. So no problem. Okay. So that's all I've got. Um, hopefully this was beneficial and helpful. Um, and uh, Z, if you wanted to get back with me um, as far as the, you know, the, the payment and the, the invoice and stuff like that, maybe on Monday, oh, that would be yes, great. Yes, for so, sure, for sure. Okay. I will get back to you. Sounds Misha, good. do you have any questions for Bob before we leave? Um, no, I, I, think, um, I think I have a good handle on how to navigate through BrokerBin. Okay. There, if I get any questions, I'll let you know. There is, as long as we're in the tools um, section, there are some webinars that we have done 
um, that um, they're actually pretty good. Um, the safe trading practices is one that um, I participated in. It's basically a YouTube video on how to protect yourself from getting screwed. <laughs> um, so take a look at that. You know, it, it's actually pretty good. It talks a little bit, a lot about the, the email spoofing and stuff like that. So um, mm -hmm. the other thing I was going to mention, I know it's probably last minute and there's probably no way you could do it. Uh, but as far as it being a new company, um, if you wanted to meet an awful lot of people, uh, in a networking environment, uh, we're having our, we host our own, uh, what we call road shows and we're doing one in Vegas here in October. Um, just think about it. I, it would be a surprise if you guys could make it, <laughs> uh, but you can, you can take out, take a look at the broker bin road show. Um, it's going to be in Las Vegas, you know, here in about four weeks. So, um, lots of good companies there. Um, you know, it's basically, um, you know, meetings, one-to-one one -to -one meetings where it's like 20 minute sit downs, um, where you can actually meet up to, you know, 20 people over a two day period and have very meaningful conversations with them. So mm -hmm. networking. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, here's some photos. Um, sorry with zoom, so, it's kind of slower, but it's all right. right. So are there all broker bin companies or some other companies as well like no they are not it's our own show it's a good question it's not a typical trade show everyone here is actually a member of broker bin mm. so yeah here's a pretty good one um we normally have this is actually in um uh, rome i think last year uh, where we actually had a little presentation and things like that but um yeah it's it's pretty good you have I mean, some good destinations. You said Rome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, so. and there was one in Berlin as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's right. Well, the one in Berlin actually got canceled because of COVID. I'm glad you mentioned wow. that. Um, mm -hmm. Because, uh, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be going to Berlin in May. Uh, we just booked it. Um, fingers crossed that they, that they let Americans into Berlin at that time. <laughs> I mean, 20, 2022, probably. Yeah, maybe. yeah. Mm -hmm. Our hope. So anyway, it, it's, it would be a less, it would be a surprise if you guys could make it, but if you could, that would be an absolutely wonderful way uh, to meet a whole bunch of people at the same time. So Perfect. are you going to be there? I am. Yeah. I don't, I go to all of them. So nice. this is actually me here uh, taking nice. pictures as people come in and, oh. and how much, <laughs> how much is the cost right now for this? So show? it's normally seven ninety five, but um, we can do, especially for a new customer, uh, we could do it for six ninety five. Um, and that's basically for the two days of networking, two evening receptions. Um, uh, and yeah, it, it's pretty good. Um, so three or four days. Yep. Well, two and a half days or whatever. Okay. Yep. Here's my wife, uh, Kim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, she got to go. I, I had enough uh, frequent flyer miles finally. So uh, wow. nice. <laughs> yeah, that's anyway, nice. yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. So you, you, you and your wife both are working at Broker Bin. No, she, no, she's actually a school administrator. Um, she just, yeah, I, I work, you know, pretty much fourteen hour days during these shows. <laughs> um, so mm -hmm. it's like she kind of hangs out with the other spouses and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, every once in a while, she gets, you know, she, she we, we have her come along and. She goes shopping or something during the day and then just enjoys herself at night. So um, one nice. other thing I was going to mention, Z, um, as a newer company, um, if you don't have a FedEx account yet, um, you could actually get uh, one uh, through broker bin. It's a discount on shipping. OK, mm. so you would actually, again, tools and then click on FedEx USA. Thank you for telling because we were about to set up one. <laughs> ah. Okay, well, this will actually save you a bunch of money um, on everything like right away. Uh, mm. FedEx ground, FedEx overnight, um, just by being a member of Broker Ben. Um, yeah, just go through that really process. Good. So, so this will actually serve as an application for a new company. As a newer company, you'll probably have to give them a credit card on file just to just to have something. Uh, mm. But that'll actually initiate a a, um, a FedEx application. So. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank okay. you so much. No problem. Well, thank you guys. This went a lot longer than I was thinking, but it was all yeah. good. It's all good. <laughs> I actually thank rescheduled you. my my uh, meeting that I told you it was on three. 
Ah. So I rescheduled for six because the the meeting got really interesting and I really like enjoyed this session. So thank you oh, so much. Good, good. Okay. Well, again, I'm just an email away. Um, I can, I do use Skype, but um, I actually prefer, uh, like when I called you earlier, Z, I was actually on my, it was voice over IP. So I was actually on my laptop, but I was actually Ooh. calling as if I was calling from broker bin. So Ooh. VPN. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> Anyway, so thanks, you guys. And uh, um, you're going to share this with Uns. Uh, um, shoot. I will, yes. How, how did I, how do I stop the, the recording? So once you end this, you will definitely, you can stop the recording right now. And okay. then after ending it, you can download it and send over the link via email. And hang on a second. Um, post, I don't, I don't need that. Sorry, you're helping Ooh, me now. <laughs> okay. Not a problem. Um, I don't know where the stop record. Oh, stop video. Yeah. Nope. Oh, that was just me. Um, stop record. Stop recording.